The Bess Highway is one of the most important roads in Tasmania. It runs from Launceston to the sea at Devonport and then links up all the main towns in the northwest, ending at Marawa on the west coast. This film covers the road from Launceston to Deloraine, a distance of 30 miles. The road runs through good farming land, which was pioneered early in our history. Hagley and Westbury are the main settlements we pass as we drive along the road to Deloraine. Right outside Glendew School, on the outskirts of Launceston, stands a signpost marked Bass Highway to the Northwest Coast. The road runs up the hill out of Launceston on its way to Deloraine. Near the top, we can get a good view right over the city and see the River Tamar in the distance. A few miles along the road, at a little place called Hadspen, we come to the South Esk River. The South Esk is a fine, broad stream that flows into the Tamar at Launceston. Just beyond the bridge is Entelli, one of the oldest houses in Tasmania. Entelli was built in 1820 as the home of some wealthy settlers. Now many tourists come to look over the estate. We are in good pastoral country now and see many sheep grazing in the paddocks by the roadside as we drive along. At one property we pass, a grazier is bringing a mob of sheep into the drafting yards. Sheep like these are not kept merely for the wool they grow. They are stud sheep. Besides producing fine wool and good meat, they are sold for breeding purposes to other farmers who want to improve their flocks. These sheep belong to the Corridal breed. On the property next door, we find a different breed, the South Down. They're valuable for farmers who go in for fat lamb production as they put on weight fast. Further along the road, we come to the village of Hagley. Hagley House, like Entelly, was built in the very early days of settlement. There's another old homestead nearby, Quamby House. Quamby House was built by Sir Richard Dry, a former premier of Tasmania. In Sir Richard's day, the house was a center of culture where the colony's ladies and gentlemen of fashion gathered. But today, the beautiful sunken garden is a wilderness. Hagley Farm School is not far away. Many of the boys and girls come here from farms in the district and the things they learn at school help them in their work on the land later on. Besides doing the usual school lessons, they learn to look after farm livestock and learn about crops too. Haymaking is a good way to spend a summer afternoon. Along the road to Westbury, we get a view of a line of mountains to the south. These are the Great Western Tiers, the backbone of Tasmania. Coming into Westbury, we go past an attractive old inn, a reminder of the days when people used to travel by coach and horses. Westbury is a busy farming centre, and in the middle of the town stands the Westbury Catholic Church, a fine bluestone building. Along many stretches of the road, we see tall hawthorn hedges, which are grown for shelter. We often see this sign because the railway line from Launceston to the north coast crosses the Bass Highway several times. The first railway ever built in Tasmania ran along here, between Launceston and Deloraine. The next town we come to is Exton. At the railway station, there are usually timber workers loading trucks. 
because in the bush around Exton a lot of timber is cut for making into pulp at the Burney paper mill. The pulp train passes many herds of beef cattle that are fattening on the rich pastures around Exton. These red beasts with the white faces belong to the Hereford breed, which comes from England. You'll see plenty of these black cattle too in the country here. Their breed is the Aberdeen Angus from Scotland. Perhaps you've seen them in the judging ring at showtime. Dense bush covered most of this part of Tasmania in the early days and herds of wild cattle and Aboriginal tribes used to roam here. But slowly the country was cleared and cultivated as the colonists moved out from Westbury towards the new settlement of Deloraine. Today there are prosperous farms everywhere. We'll look over this farm near Deloraine and see what goes on there. Farmer Oliver has a mixed farm. That means he makes his living in several ways, not just from sheep or cattle only. He has a herd of 30 purebred Jersey cows. He milks the herd twice a day, separates the milk, and sends the cream to the factory at Deloraine to be made into butter. With the skim milk from his cows, Farmer Oliver fattens some young pigs for market. He keeps a small flock of geese on the farm too. They'll fetch a good price when Christmas comes. A keen farmer always grows plenty of feed for his animals. Farmer Oliver's son is at work down in the big grass paddock making a stack of silage. When the weather gets cold, this extra feed will help the cows to keep up their milk supply. Besides a dairy herd, Farmer Oliver also keeps a flock of 300 Corridell sheep on his farm. This year he has planted 40 acres of oats. He'll cut this for hay before long. Farmer Oliver has a busy life looking after his cows and sheep, his pigs and crops. He's lucky because the town of Deloraine is only a few miles away, so it isn't far for him to take his produce to market. Deloraine lies in the valley of the Meander River. A hundred years ago it was a tiny settler's outpost, but it has grown into a thriving country town with its own business centre, its butter factory and its area school. People come to Deloraine to do business from many outlying districts. It's a pretty place on the slopes beside the Meander River and the town attracts a lot of tourists because of its pleasant setting among the hills. To arrive in Deloraine makes a pleasant ending to a drive from Launceston. Now we will look at the map again and see what were the important things we noticed along the road. First, we saw some of the finest flocks of stud sheep in Tasmania. Then we saw some very beautiful old homesteads built by the early settlers in the Hagley district. There were fine herds of cattle too around Westbury and Exton. Then we visited a mixed farm before we arrived at the busy country centre of Deloraine, which lies on one of Tasmania's most important roads the Bass Highway. Wow. 